Well, meanwhile, what a night it was at the county ground as Swindon reached Wembley for the first time in 21 years. Roger Malone was there. Referee John Martin's final whistle last night uncorked the happiness of the fans who'd followed their team through 46 league matches and then the two playoff semi-finals on the long journey since the season began last August. Last night began with Swindon holding a one-goal lead from Sunday's first leg, with Steve White almost adding to it with an early thrust. The match swung on the respective goalkeeping. Whilst Fraser Digby saved well, Terry Geno was to get into a frightful mix-up with his own defence, and the alert Duncan Shearer cashed in. With the help of a deflection off that post, and of an alert linesman to see that the ball had crossed the line before being cleared out. A touch of self-destruct by Blackburn, but it was what the bulk of the 12,000 crowd had come along to see. They saw it become even more of a case of Swindon making their own good luck as the second goal developed. See now as Shearer's centre comes over, David Mayle shapes to clear, Steve White puts him under pressure, the Blackburn defender slices the ball towards his own net, White claims it brushed his body en route into the net. Own goal then by Mayo or White's 27th score of the season. Steve tells me he's claiming it, his teammates aren't arguing. Well, into the second half now and Blackburn certainly improving. They began to string together some moves and Howard Gale was to score with yet another outrageous deflection. This time off Ross McLaren's body, wrong footing, big big. So something good now for Blackburn's fans to react to. But if they were hoping for a miracle, well, it was not to be because the goalkeeping of Fraser Digby was to remain the big difference between the two teams on the night. So a repeat score then of Sunday's away success for Swindon and an aggregate win big enough to approve the better side was indeed through to Wembley. So what's the home reaction then to discovering it will be Sunderland as their promotion final opponents on May the 28th at the game's famous headquarters. Sunderland, yes, uh, he's, they are a very good team, so uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it's going to be a very good game. It's a final, so we'll see what happens. Are you going to make any adjustments to the team? No, not at all. I'm mean, very happy with, the, with my boys. I, uh, we never change our tactic. We always play the same, so uh, we'll see how we go in Wembley, but uh, obviously we are very, very confident. Well, I, I think to be fair, we, we didn't play particularly well on Sunday and we had an uphill struggle uh, tonight. Uh, I think we did do reasonably well. We gave away another stupid goal. I, I think when we count the goals we've lost this win this season, we've lost about nine. And I think five of them could be put down to defensive mistakes. So that's a disappointing thing because we had a lot of chances in the second half. We could actually have been level uh, on chances in the second half. And they just wouldn't win. Hit the post, had a couple scrambled away, a good save by the goalkeeper. Um, but we, we tried, we tried our best. <laughs> but Swindon's best was better. Cheers, all the way to Wembley now.